So somewhere in this wide world, with all its joys and sorrows, there is now a new little spark of light. There's a little gift, a little girl, who's taken form and made herself into reality. And I have the luck to hold her for a while. And through her, look at the universe, so looking through a prism. Through her tiny, weak old, rolled back eyes, I have seen backwards and forwards. I have been given a vision of a half-life lived and a half-life yet to live. The story whispered somehow. I will still myself to listen. For I see all these unformed senses growing and converging, time and place and person coinciding, making me with and against and beside my will, just as she is starting now. For both of us, the world is a mystery, a card unturned, a palm where the lines of fate and Saturn and love and life have yet to be etched. And the light refracts back on the wall behind us to show me a future I have not yet begun to contemplate. This moment where I must tell you must confess to you, great swirling void of the internet. <sighs> Recently in my life, I have caused great pain and felt great pain. I have been driven by my own will, will so deep within me to act as I have. It, it was like a train moving, track by track, heedlessly over a cliff. Felt like there was nothing I could do but write it out. And so life has marked me up and there's nothing anyone could do about it. I'm tattooed and bruised by the facts. A scar, a square on the palm of my heart. Holding this energy in a concentrated spiral that is so sharp and so tight that if you do not take care where you point it, it could cut through the center of the earth. Sitting with her tea life warmth, and you think of the star child cooing in your arms, and you imagine that if you could help her, help it, you would do whatever you could for her not to know this kind of heartbreak, this kind of isolation, this poisoning of self. I spent so much of my life unscathed, and now I realize that this hurt, this heart, was not one my mother could have walled me off from. It is a price I pay for teaching myself to open my eyes, to sit up, to look and know the world a little better. To stride away a handless maiden, a fox woman, a teller of stories come down from her catbird seat between the past and the future, and try to accept that as I might. I didn't get the incantation out cleanly. I screwed it up. But then you might recall, as I do now, that she carries this in her blood. Anxious impulses, wishful turnings, and the benediction of the living, which is to hurt and feel hurt. It is unavoidable now that she has made it to this material plane and out of the dreams of her parents. I cannot give her a map for the dark forest she will have to meet in her life. I cannot promise her she will not act against her better judgment, or that she will be graceful always in her speech, or that she will always find herself capable when the time comes. I do feel certain that there will be moments that she, like me, like you, it will screw the big it of it all up. She will have to meet the mystery of her days, turn over the cards one at a time, and know herself. In the meanwhile, we buffet her wings with love and our watchful eyes, and we let her grow until she is ready for these big lessons. We won't keep from her what she is, a spirit of light and shadow simple pleasures and galactic aspirations. A little girl who, when she hurts the world, says she's sorry. 
means it and moves on. Oh, dear little one, I would like somehow to forgive myself. If you are feeling regretful, melancholic, and have done hard things worthy of forgiveness, as only you can judge, here is a spell. As is the way with all good spells, it does the most extraordinary thing when you let it. It makes the beginning. The magic for us all. Boil a cup of hot tea. Tea is not a favorite of mine, but we do not do this for the flavor. Hot water would work well. Hot cocoa, better yet, but you must be patient with it. Hold it in your hand so the heat is not unbearable, but can be felt across your palms. Then open the ritual in a quiet space. Dimmed lights, no computer glare if you can help it. Bring the freshly brewed cup up to your chest. Feel the warmth there too. Whisper firmly. Imagine the child within or child you know that is dear. Be silent and calm until you know clearly who it is you are addressing. Picture them. Reach out your mug so they can put their small hands against the warmth too. Whisper firmly. I stand at the crossroads between all that has made me and all that is yet to be. I drink tenderly the hurts we feel. I forgive the sting of regret. I take ownership of the hurts we've caused. I commence when I can. I accept there may be consequences for my choices. The image of the child melts away. Drink your tea. Write out somewhere what you must do to settle yourself with the true facts of the matter. The map of Everest you must climb, one step at a time. When the cup is empty and not before, release yourself and tonight's portion of this pain and close the ritual. As ever, we do the thing until it's done. Thank you. If you found this pleasant, like and subscribe.